hey guys, it's early morning here and I just brewed up a cup of what is the most delicious coffee I've had in a good long while from uh, Topeka, Kansas, this new roaster that I'm trying out. It was recommended to me through this site I've been using to acquire different coffees called Trade, uh, but it is delicious. Um, anyways, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to go through the first five days of my Yes Style K-Beauty advent calendar. I've gotten some fun products and the ingredients in them I think are worth chit-chatting with you all about. There are some that you frequently ask about. <sighs> Just get another sip in. This coffee is so delicious. You all know what a coffee fanatic I am. Coffee drinking for me is a complete experience and it is an essential part of my morning routine. My coffee in the morning sets the tone for my entire day. If I have a miss in terms of the coffee, whether it be the taste or just something goes awry in, in making it, uh, or you know, uh, so, something comes up, some emergency, and uh, it get, interferes in that little part of my ritual, my entire day is, is off. I love everything from just the process of making it, either in my stovetop Bialetti for espresso or using my French press. It, nothing feels as good as that first sip in the morning. Um, however, I've been finding that my grocery store, you know, local grocery stores are kind of a coffee desert. So I've recently found this company online called Trade. It's a site online that partners with um, like some of the top roasters throughout the country and they have over 400 different coffees. And that sounds overwhelming <laughs> to go from a coffee desert to over 400. But basically what you do is you go in and you do this little quiz and then they recommend coffees for you based on how you make your coffee or like what your taste preferences are. But yeah, I've really been happy with their recommendations. This is PT's Coffee. It is a roaster from Topeka, Kansas. This particular coffee is John Brown Signature Blend. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's got kind of like a chocolatey undertone to it, like a dark chocolate, but it's got this nice fruity acidity that complements that. And it's almost like there's a hint of a smokiness as well that kind of permeates into the back of your throat and really brings it all together into this kind of trifecta. And it's not bitter. The coffee is very fresh. It's roasted to order and it's direct trade. So the roasters ethically source their beans and the way the supply chain functions is that it ensures the money reaches the farmers. But the pricing is really amazing. Buying specialty coffees is can get very expensive, and so I love that. And right now, I'm partnering with Trade to offer the first 100 of you who click the link in my description box 30% off of your first Trade coffee order. So click the link in my description box, you can get 30% off. But getting into the advent calendar, day one was the BRTC V10 Powder Cleansing Tea Bag. Uh, you got three of these. They retail for $1.80 on Yes Style. Um, but basically, they're kind of a cool concept. They're a little, here, I'll just open one up for you guys. They're a little um, tea bag that you submerge in water and it generates a lather for washing, for cleansing your face. This particular one um, has hibiscus in it, which is rich in antioxidants that can theoretically help to scavenge damaging free radicals from dirt and pollutants that may be sitting on the surface of your skin and contributing to irritation, inflammation, and you know exacerbating the appearance of blackheads. This particular tea bag is designed to you for, for people aiming to improve the appearance of blackheads. Now, um, what else does it have in it? It's got uh, cornstarch, which can help to absorb some excess sebum and oil, and it also has papain. Now, papain is from papaya. It is what is in meat tenderizer. It is a fruit-derived um, acid for exfoliation. So depending on how this is formulated, that might be very, very irritating. And I'm always, you know, kind of mentioning to you guys that you should be really conservative when it comes to exfoliants. So, you know, this could potentially be irritating. Its pH is 3.55, so it's acidic, meaning, uh, you know, it, it will help in mitigating damage to the, the acid skin barrier mantle but uh, it may be very irritating around the eyes area. So if you use these, don't, don't use them to remove eye makeup or to cleanse around your eye area. It could be very irritating there. Um, it also has grape polyphenols in it, which have antioxidants in it from grape, from the fruit of the grape. It says grapefruit, but uh, it, they mean the, the grape, like grapes like you make wine out of. Uh, yeah, Vitis 
Vitis Ventera, and that's that's actual grapes, not grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit is a citrus, you don't want that in skincare products. But grape seed and grape fruit derived from the grape, <laughs> as in wine, uh, as in raisins, that, that's okay. Um, you know, it, it's rich in antioxidants. Um, and then this also has um, green tea in it, which is anti-inflammatory and has been shown to be helpful for diminishing the appearance of pores. So this one seemed promising with the caveat that the papain can be very irritating and you don't want to use it around the eyes. So that was day one. Day two uh, was a cleanser from Dr. Vita Clinic. This is the Skin and Lab Gentle Vita Exfoliator that um, unfortunately has fragrance in it. Fragrance is uh, not as likely to be problematic in wash off forms like a cleanser, but if you have allergy to fragrance, it can still be, you still have to avoid it. Um, and so it's like, why are they even putting it in there? But anyways, this has fragrance in it. So right off the bat, you know, I'm not gonna be a fan of it. Like the uh, blackhead thing, it's got papain in it and it also has bromelain. Now bromelain is from pineapple. So you've got papaya and pineapple going on in here. These are fruit derived uh, enzymes that can be potentially helpful for exfoliating, but can be very, very irritating to the skin, uh, depending on how this is formulated. And there's no, you know, there's no oversight or anything in terms of cosmetics. So you may say, well, how is this formulated? Who knows? Who knows? There may be hardly any papain in this, or it may be like basically meat tenderizer. It's really hard to know. Um, this also has red dyes in it. Red dyes, uh, particularly if left on the skin, uh, can cause acne cosmetica. Uh, so, you know, I wish cosmetic companies would stop putting red dyes into face washes and skincare products. Like we don't need pink liquids. We just don't. Anyways, got the red dye in there. And then uh, the some beneficial ingredients are niacinamide, which can be anti-inflammatory, soothing for redness. And it also has sea buckthorn, uh, fruit extract. Now, I have a video talking about sea buckthorn. You'll recall the sea buckthorn fruit is very rich in fatty acids um, and so, you know, is of some interest in skincare products. So that is in there. It has some little exfoliating beads to it as well. So this this might be very a very irritating cleanser. Um, I don't know that this is something I would go out of my way to purchase. You can get it for $12.75 on iHerb. Um, you know, to me, this is like this is like a, a definite skip, but that was in there and that's a pretty good, good size tube of it. So whatever, we have that. All right, day three, I'm actually kind of excited to try out. It is by this company, The Plant Base. It is a um, waterfall, the Waterfall Moist Balanced Hyaluronic Acid 100. The only ingredient in this, you guys, is sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid. So this is a hyaluronic acid serum. It doesn't have any added fragrance or essential oils or irritating ingredients. Now, the way to use a product like this, um, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid is a humectant. If you put this on your face and you don't put an occlusive moisturizer on top, and by occlusive moisturizer, I'm mean things like CeraVe moisturizing cream um, or Vanny cream. Uh, check out my moisturizer videos. I'll list some of them down below for you guys to know which one should go over this. But if you don't put a heavier occlusive moisturizer on top, a moisturizer that's formulated with occlusive ingredients, what will happen is this will actually draw water out of your skin with time and that water will evaporate out into the atmosphere and your skin will become much drier. So it actually can dry out your skin if you don't use it correctly, particularly if you live in a climate like Colorado or the desert that is very dry. Here in Houston, you might be able to, to be a little less fastidious in using this, but it can still dry out your skin, but it's gonna happen to a lesser degree here in Houston where it's humid as opposed to one of these drier climates. So that's how to use it. The best, the best step in terms of where in your skincare routine to use this is immediately after you have rinsed the skin, when you cleanse, put this on to damp skin. That way that hyaluronic acid will grab onto some of that water and sink into the skin, hold onto water there, and then you put your occlusive moisturizer on right away before allowing it to dry. And that will trap that hyaluronic acid water mixture into the skin where it will help to hydrate up the skin and potentially, potentially just improve the appearance of dull and even skin and fine lines just by space filling through hydration. 
Um, so that is how to use it. Oh, cool. I thought it was gonna be, I thought, oh, this is interesting. So the way it works is you suction it up into this little vial and just squeegee it out. So that's great. Um, I kind of like that. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, other things so far, I'm excited, the most excited about that. This has the least potential, irritation potential right here. Unless of course you don't use it correctly, in which case you'll get dry skin. But sodium hyaluronate, very inert, um, and not something your immune system gives two wits about because the bulk of your skin is made up of hyaluronic acid, a large, Portion, proportion of your skin is made up of hyaluronic acid. So uh, not something that your immune system really gives two wits about. Um, and if used correctly, uh, can definitely help in improving hydration status in the skin. All right, day four is, um, so day four is the Wish Trend Polyphenols and Propolis 15% Ampule. So this is a propolis is kind of the main ingredient. What is propolis? It is a resinous, material derived from trees. Bees collect this material and use it in the construction of their hive along with beeswax. It differs from beeswax in that beeswax the bees actually make is a wax the bees secrete and then propolis is something that they collect and they kind of mix the two things together or use the two things together in the construction of their hive. Um, so Propolis is rich in it's a lip it's a it's a lipophilic substance which means it likes oily surfaces and it is a resinous material that has a lot of aromatic compounds that can function uh, that can include excuse me antioxidants. Oftentimes it will have uh, ferulic acid and antioxidant that uh, you'll find in your vitamin C serums that can help scavenge free radicals and protect the stability of products. That's why it's added to vitamin C serums. This also, uh, propolis also, the resin can also have caffeic acid, another antioxidant, but the composition of propolis varies tremendously. It varies depending on the tree the bee derived it from. So there's no way to really know how good any one propolis is compared to another because these are cosmeceutical ingredients. So there's no oversight and standardization of the propolis in terms of these individual constituents. Furthermore, propolis, because it is this all natural substance that's a mixed bag of actually many different substances, it can be sensitizing and is a source of allergic, a cause of allergic contact dermatitis. Now, propolis is something that has been used in traditional medicine for a long time, but as it is becoming more prevalent in skincare products, we're seeing an increased number of cases of allergic contact dermatitis to propolis. In fact, it is included on um, many patch test standard series. So in other words, when patients come in to the dermatologist and have a rash that looks like contact dermatitis and the dermatologist wants to test for it, they will use these patches to determine what the patient might be allergic to. And on those patches often is it, propolis is included. Um, it's got uh, propolis because it is this mixed bag of different compounds, it can have some very sensitizing compounds in it. Specifically, two compounds that are found in propolis that can be sensitizing include 3-methyl-2-butanyl caffeate and phenyl ethyl caffeate. By sensitizing, what I mean by that is they can call to your immune system to come in and, and develop an allergy to either that particular compound in propolis or other things in propolis or other things that you're using alongside propolis. So it can make you your skin uh, more likely to mount an immune response that leads to an allergy, a contact dermatitis allergy. Um, so yeah, it's a problematic ingredient and you'll find it in lip balms and many cosmetics. Uh, it's also uh, in, uh, 
in a lot of uh, food, you know, it's like a dietary supplement. And there are case reports, you guys, of people who develop allergy to propolis and they get a bad rash when they ingest it from these medicinals. So it is not, you know, like I've always said, not all that is natural is safe and or effective. Yes, it may be rich in antioxidants and polyphenols that could have some skin benefit, but it seems to have come with a pretty heavy risk of contact dermatitis or a potential risk. Um, also, uh, in that bag of ingredients that propolis, that, that is propolis, you will also find some of the same ingredients that are found in something called balsam of Peru. Balsam of Peru is an ingredient in, also on the patch test series, which people can become allergic to and often do. That is found, it is, it is a fragrance and it's found in a lot of, it's a food additive um, and it's a natural substance. So many of the compounds in propolis are also in balsam of Peru. So when people develop an allergy to balsam of Peru, they may also be allergic by default to propolis and thus have to avoid it. So yeah, not a foolproof ingredient whatsoever. So in other words, like this is not something I would recommend going out necessarily wasting your time on. Uh, theoretical benefit, established risk, if that makes sense. This product also, I believe, has witch hazel in it. And witch hazel, you'll recall from my video on witch hazel, uh, you know, it's got astringent properties, but it too can be sensitizing. So you're kind of begging for trouble with a product like this, uh, which is why, you know, I think it's worth chit-chatting about in this video. Um, but I'll just show you what it looks like here. I mean, it's just this kind of, it almost is like a an oily, it's not greasy, but it it's definitely, it's definitely more oily than, than anything. It kind of has an oiliness to it, um, an oily wetness, if that is at all possible. And see, it's labeled as fragrance-free. Now, they don't add any fragrance to this, but you know, propolis basically has compounds in it that are kind of like fragrance, so be aware of that. Also, last point about propolis. Uh, it's not the same thing as beeswax, but it can have some of the same compounds in it that you will find in beeswax people can become allergic to beeswax. And those people that are allergic to beeswax is also advised that you avoid propolis because they can have some of the same compounds in them. And one of those compounds may be specifically what it is that you are allergic to if you're allergic to beeswax. Does that make sense? Day five, you get these uh, masks, the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essential Masks. This is something that for people who are into SK2, you might be excited about. SK2 I reviewed for you guys a while back, uh, kind of based on using uh, yeast ferment filtrates. This particular one has Galactomyces ferment filtrate, which is derived from, uh, it's kind of a byproduct of making sake. And there are a few uh, studies, small, suggesting potential skin brightening benefit from using this ingredient. Uh, it's thought to maybe be a natural source of kojic acid, a skin brightening ingredient that I've talked about. I have a dedicated video on kojic acid. Um, but what else does this have in it? It's got uh, sage leaf extract, which is added as a preservative, but can be irritating and potentially sensitizing, kind of akin to fragrance. And not without, without necessarily harm. And then it has witch hazel, again, an astringent that may transiently help redness, but can be irritating and co-sensitizing. And some people just don't get along well with it. This also has glycerin, a humectant in it, and it has, um, what else? Aloe leaf juice in it. Aloe leaf juice is largely water. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is not the worst K-Beauty product I have seen. It doesn't have added fragrance per se, um, but it does have some ingredients that are not without risk. Um, but this is one that, you know, I think a lot of people might end up enjoying. They're, you know, kind of, kind of fun to do, but they don't substantially alter the biology of your skin. So kind of a fun thing to do to relax and unwind. Um, but, you know, just be aware that the ingredients can definitely cause irritation no matter who you are. Uh, even though fortunately that one does not appear to have any added fragrance. So yeah, we've gotten some kind of wins this this first five days of Advent, of our Advent calendar. I've really, I've actually been really happy with this calendar. I just, you know, for the purposes of this channel, I think it's come with, it's come with some great products just for chatting about ingredients informally in a holiday setting. But anyways, that's the first five days. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
This coffee is so delicious. Click the link in my description box if you haven't already. The first 100 of you can get 30% off. Oh, it's really been a treat. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.